Hi everyone, it's Sue DeWeverin for the weekly countdown to the Fly Your Ideas 2019 final. We are now five weeks away to, from the final and just a little bit rem a little reminder of what the challenges are. We have six challenges in this competition. It's electrification, data services, cybersecurity, artificial intelligence, uh, mixed reality, and and I do this all the time. I keep forgetting <laughs> Internet of Things. Today we are joined by the Artificial Intelligence Challenge sponsor, Adam Bonifield, who also happens to be the head of AI and analytics at Airbus. Thanks for joining us. My pleasure. One of the things I wanted to go over today is that out of the seven finalists in this year's competition, one of them mm. is an AI challenge team. You want to tell us a little bit about the project, or yeah? So the, it was very exciting to have uh, to have one of them be represented in AI. It's an advanced technology, so I was very excited that we mm -hmm. had a project from students that really qualified and is really interesting for us. Um, so the name of the project is called Automated Intelligent Real Time Quality Inspection exploiting human-robot collaboration. And um, so basically the premise of it is to take something that's very important to our production process, which right. is our riveting process, and, uh, and, and use AI to kind of help the human operator, the visual specter around mm -hmm. quality issues um, related to the riveting process. So um, the goal is, is obviously important to us. It's about making visual inspection faster and more efficient. And it uses a variety of different technologies from, you know, sort of AI computer vision assistance to detect quality issues with the riveting process and help the human operator. And then also uses uh, augmented reality to, to help um, visualize the, the, those issues. So it's a real mix of different technologies. Right. It's exactly the kind of thing that we're interested in because it's a combination of real time advanced technologies being used in order to solve our biggest business problems. Mm -hmm. um, so it's it's a perfect fit. Yeah, and from what I've seen and from speaking to the teams and their mentors, it's a, it's a very ambitious project. We yes. were talking about it earlier. So yes. it's gonna be exciting to see what they produce at the final. Yeah, well, um, we'll, we'll be paying very close attention and any insights we can glean yeah. from it are, are of course really welcome because um, throughout our plans we are working on and worry about the exact same things. Okay. This brings me to my next question. Uh, of course, AI and a lot of the new digitalization, digital technology uh, activities and departments here at Airbus get involved in different competitions. Why did you get involved in this particular competition, Fly Your Ideas? How is it that that, that happened? Well, you know, it's, it's a great project. Um, you know, there's tons of innovation happening all over the place with these advanced technologies. Mm -hmm. I think one of the most exciting things about them is that they're so new. So a lot of the traditional big players and suppliers, they're behind the curve. And, and the most exciting work is being done in research labs and universities um, mm -hmm. by young people who are picking up these technologies and trying completely new things. And so uh, it, it challenges us to be kind of more open to where new ideas come from. And so um, getting the chance to be exposed to ideas coming out of um, young students who are excited to... Um, pitch ideas to, to large companies like ours is is actually just a really cool use of time. Mm -hmm. Do you have any expectations for the Fly Your Ideas competition on afterwards uh, or when you join? What were your expectations? Well, like I said, I would love for stuff to come out of it that we can deploy into production or at least could give us clues into how we can work better mm -hmm. with suppliers. It's also really good just to kind of be connected to these different communities. I mean, these are kind of the leaders of the future for um, you know, not just our domain space, but, you know, potential people who can be part of the story at Airbus as we continue. So 
um, yeah, so it's just an exciting opportunity to meet some of these guys and, and also see what they come up with and, and, how, uh, and how we can make the most of them. So you'll be joining us on the week of the final. I will be you'll there. You'll be coming yes, to visit. Okay, that's great. Final, that's great. That's uh, great. You kind of answered my next question, which is why you would think that these kinds of competitions in innovation are important for Airbus, but you basically said yeah, it's yeah, to give exactly. us that, uh, that exposure to the research community, the academic community. Um, one of the things I want to ask you is we got a total of 270 projects uh, in round one. We narrowed it down to 51, and from 51, we brought it down to seven finalists. That doesn't mean that the other projects were not good. What advice would you give to the finalists, but also to those who didn't make it to the final? Well, to the finalists, I would say relax, have fun. It's probably been quite a long journey going through the different stages, but this is a moment to kind of celebrate the accomplishment and really mm -hmm. make the most of the, the work that you've done and, and your idea. Um, usually, in my experience, those tend to be the best presentations when you're not taking yourself too seriously. You're just yeah. kind of enjoying the idea and, and trying to connect with the audience who's, who's interested in it. Um, but for everyone, including a lot of the other projects, I mean, a lot of the projects were really great. Um, and, you know, we, we argued yeah, about them and, and, and there were only so many spots. But I think um, for all of them, a lot of them were spot on. A lot of them were extremely ambitious. A lot of them were very applicable to us. But I wouldn't look at the selection criteria as meaning the projects weren't good. I mean, we loved a lot of them, honestly. And... Uh, you know, we see these technologies as the technologies of the future. We see them as impacting basically every aspect of our business. So yeah. just to have the chance to experiment with them, to kind of learn about the technology domain and then apply it to a real problem is great. You know, so um, I would look at it as a great learning experience either way. That's great. That's great. Well, look, Adam, thanks for joining us and giving yeah. us some time from your very busy schedule. <laughs> yeah. uh, everyone, uh, like I mentioned, we are five weeks away from the final, which is coming up on Thursday, June 27, 2019. We'll be held here at the Leadership University. There'll be a live streaming. So stay tuned to our social media channels. I look forward to having you. Bye. See you next time.